Welcome to rule of acquisition number 10. Models must mimic nature before all else. Okay, this is broken up into three sub-phrases. Mo models must mimic nature, not your interpretations. Models must mimic nature, not interpretations of others. And derive up the echelons. These are all related to the same core of logic. So this rule of the act is actually broken into three sub-pieces. So new theories must mimic nature, not your interpretation of nature. Okay, Don't let your primitive connected dot brain limit you with false interpretation. The underlying theory may not look anything like what you think you are observing. And theories must not mimic other interpretations or other theories. So it's irrelevant if a theory disagrees with other theories. This is, and we'll go over this one too. Okay, again, when I say theories or models, when I say theory, I mean theories and models, because again, a model is just a mathematical representation of a theory. So let's go over this with a connect the dots. See, your brain is looking at these four dots. Let's say these four dots are observations. The first thing your brain is coming up with is, oh, well, we can just connect the dots. The square, the square must be the theory. Well, that's not together true, because you could also have a circle that fits the observations. You can even have a triangle that fits the observations. And you can come up with a, a zillion different figures, infinite different figures that, that still fit those four observations. Okay, so don't let your first impression fool you. Again, just because the iron filings make this pattern on a magnet does not mean that is the shape of a magnetic field. And I'll put the link for uh, the video that shows you that is not that is the way iron filings react to a magnetic field. That is not the shape of a magnetic field. And I'll give you a link to the video that shows you that. And echelons. We talked about echelons before. Basically salt, you would think if you looked at salt, you would think that salt must be made of clear materials. No, salt is made from chlorine and sodium. One is opaque, one's yellow. But looking at this, you would think that they're both clear. It's amazing that this crystal, clear crystal, can come from a yellow gas and an opaque metal. And so you have to realize that this higher echelon, which is synthesized from lower echelon elements, this higher echelon may look nothing like the lower echelon. And if you go to the echelon below this, chlorine is synthesized by neutrons, protons, and electrons. And the same three L three things, protons, electrons, and neutrons, rearranged a different way, give you a completely different material here. And these look nothing like protons, neutrons, and electrons. So as you go down the echelons, each sub-echelon, or each lower echelon, may look, will look, may look, most probably will not look like the echelon that it synthesizes. And that's one of the problems that we have in physics today, because physicists at the quantum level, think the electromagnetic fields exist at the quantum level intact. That's ridiculous. There's no way you can assume that nothing that we know in nature exists at an upper echelon intact in a lower echelon. Well, maybe there's a couple examples, but you should not assume it. Let's put it that way. And in theory, and new electromagnetism is the upper echelon. I'll show you when we develop the preton fields, the pretonic fields are not going to look anything like the new electromagnetism fields, but the new elect the, the pretonic fields derived will generate the effects we see at the higher echelon. But we should not assume that we're going to drive derive down. So don't assume you can derive down, but you can derive up. That is rule of acquisition 10C. So 10A and C wrap up. Okay, don't limit your theory of the underlying echelon by what you observe at the higher echelon. The lower echelon look, may look nothing like what you're observing at the upper echelon. And derive up, but you can guess down. You can derive equations going down, but you've got to remember that's going to be a guess. Okay, Just because you can derive and get down there does not mean that your derivation going down is valid. But it may be a good guess, a good gateway to get your foot in the door. And 10b, do not, do not, assume that your theories must match the theories of others. When I was in my graduate thesis, uh, someone told me that this model violates Newton's third law, and therefore it can't possibly be correct. And I said to that someone, well, well, hell, that means this one violates Newton's third law too. And he goes, well, yeah, that means that's true. 
And I said, but these are derived from F equals QV cross B. See, so what you're saying is that all the electromagnetic theory we've been teaching now for 100 years is completely wrong. And there was a lot of harumphing and blah, 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 and all that other nonsense. And a, a lot of verbal diarrhea came out about this and causality and yada, yada. Oh, good. It, it was just verbal diarrhea. So anyway, turn, but here's the deal. This does violate Newton's third law as we understand it. But if you go to the video, the link, I'm going to put the link for the video here. It turns out that Newton's third law is invalid for force at distance models. And I can show that quite clearly. I believe it's video 12 or 14. I don't know. I'll put the link here in the video. Okay. So the key, and Niels Bohr said it, it's wrong to think that the task of physicists is to find out how nature works. Physics concerns itself with what we say about nature. In other words, this is wrong to think that physicists... See, in other words, what he's saying here is that we have a problem where we think that a theory we come up with has to match other theory of others. That's wrong. Theory has to match nature. Theory should mimic nature, not other theories. That's rule of acquisition 10b. Uh, there's also a new math construct example. When I was working in ethereal mechanics using a new math construct, I was trying to derive from the I was trying to derive a new math construct that would match what I had for new electromagnetism before I realized oh, I'm being stupid because that the underlying may look different than the above. So I even got caught, you know, doing it the wrong way. So luckily I had these rules of acquisition that I remember from time to time. Okay, so the conclusion, new theories must mimic our observations of nature, not our interpretations of nature or the interpretations of others. That's 10A and 10B and derive up the echelons, derive down only as a means to a gateway or a guess. Thank you. No more voodoo physics. If you would like to make a contribution, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.